Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing this stories design just like you see in the Facebook website. So first of all, let me show you a demo. So here we can see we have these stories and we can scroll to the right or to the left. And you can also click on these right and left arrows to go to different stories. And uh, if you go to the end of the stories list, the right arrow disappears. And if you go to the extreme left, the left arrow is hidden. So this is how it works. And uh, you can also click on any of these uh, stories. So if I click on this story right here, here we can see that the story is displayed in full screen. And you can also go to the next and the previous story from here. And uh, you can also click on this close button to close out of this full screen mode. So this is how it is going to look. Now in this video, we will create this design using HTML and CSS. So let's get started. Right here, I have created this folder called FB Stories and I just opened it with VS Code. And here I also have this folder called Images and in that we have all these images. So we're going to use all of these images in our design. So let's start by creating the necessary files. So first of all, let's create the index.html file. So let's click on new file and let's type index.html. And now let's create the CSS file. So let's click on new file and let's type style.css. And let's also create a JavaScript file. I'll just name it main.js. Right now let's start with the index.html file. So in VS Code, you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab. And you will have this basic HTML5 code. So let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the href, I'll just type style.css. And here in the body, I'll just link the JavaScript file. So I'll just type script call in src and press tab and here I'll just type main.js right now let's start with the markup of our design so the first thing we will do is uh, we'll create a container division for all of this so let's create a division with the class of stories container now in this division for all the content we will have one more container division called content and in that we will have the previous button so let's create a division with the class of previous button and in this previous button, we need to have the icon. So for the icons, we will use heroicons.com. Right here, I'm in heroicons.com and let's search for Chevron. And uh, I'll just use this icon right here. So let's copy the SVG from here. Let's go back and let's paste the SVG over here. And let's also create the next button. So let's create a division and let's give it a class of next BTN. And let's copy this SVG from here and I'll just paste it right here. Right now, let's create all these stories. Now for the stories, let's create a division with the class of stories. So here, let's create a division and let's give it a class of stories. Now in the stories division, for each of the story, we will have a division with the class of story. So let's type story. And now in the story, we need to have an image for the story. And we also need to have this author. So let's go ahead and create an IMG tag. And uh, in the SRC, let's tap images forward slash and I'll just select the first image over here. And uh, let's create another division with the class of author. And uh, here I'll just add an author name. So I'll just tap author. We'll change these details later. But right now I'll just copy this uh, story from here and uh, let's paste it a couple more times. Right now let's go to our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And uh, this is how our website looks right now. Right now let's go ahead and uh, start styling this. So we have already linked our CSS file over here. So let's go to the styler CSS file. And first of all, let's set a background color to the body. So I'll just have background and uh, let's set the color to EF, EF, EF. Right now, let's target the stories container, which is uh, this division right here, the main container division. So let's type stories container. And we will set a max width of 600 pixels. And we'll also bring everything to the center. So let's type margin. And for top and bottom, I'll just type 24 pixels. And uh, for left and right, let's type auto. Now it is in the center. Now before styling any of the other elements, let's just decrease the width of this image 
so that we can see all the other elements clearly. So let's go back to the style or CSS file and uh, let's type stories container. And we had a class of previous button and also a class of next BTN. So let's go ahead and target that. Let's type previous BTN and stories container next BTN. And let's set the width of the icons to 30 pixels. Right now, let's style each of these individual stories. So let's go back. And uh, for each of the stories, uh, we have this uh, division with the class of story. And it is inside the stories container. So let's type stories container story. And we need to have a height of 180 pixels. And let's set the width to 120 pixels. Now we need to set the same width and height for the image inside the story. So let's type stories container story img and let's set the width to 100% of the parent and the height to 100% and let's also set the object fit to cover so that it has the correct proportions. Right now let's go back and here we can see all these stories have the correct width and height. Right now we need to have all these stories one next to the other so let's go back. Here we can see that we have this container division called stories. So let's select this and we will set the display to flex. So let's type stories container stories let's set the display to flex and uh, we will set a gap of 8 pixels between each of the elements and now we can see that all these uh, stories are one next to the other now here we can see that all these stories have shrinked to fit in this uh, width of 600 pixels that we set for the container over here so what we need to do is uh, we need to remove the flex shrink of these elements so let's target the story. So here we already have the selector for the story. So here I'll just type flex shrink and I'll just set it to zero. And now we can see that all these stories have the correct width and height. Now we don't want to display all these stories over here. We want to display just the stories that can fit inside this container. So let's go back and uh, here we can see we have this container division called content. So let's target this. So here I'll just type stories container, content, and here I'll just type overflow x, and uh, let's set it to scroll. And now we can see that we are able to scroll to the next stories. Now let's also hide this scroll bar that you see at the bottom. So for that, you have to type stories container, content, colon, colon, hyphen, webkit, scroll bar, and here we need to set the display to none. And now we can see that the scroll bar is not visible. Now if you open this in Firefox, the scroll bar will still be displayed. So let's go back. And for that you have to type scroll bar width and set it to none. Right now let's go ahead and style this story. So let's go back. And we need to add some more styles over here. So we need to have rounded corners. So here we can see we have these rounded corners. So let's type border radius and I'll just set it to 16 pixels. And right now the border radius is not being applied. That's because for the image, we don't have the border radius. So for that, you have to type overflow and set it to hidden. And now we can see we have this border radius. Now the next thing we will do is we will style the author. So for the author, we need to have it displayed at the bottom and it should be positioned relative to this story. So let's go back and for the story, let's type position relative. And now let's target the author and for the author, we have this uh, division with the class of author. So here let's tap stories container author and let's set the position to absolute and we'll set the bottom position to zero. And let's set the left position to zero and the right position to zero. And now we can see that the author text is being displayed over here. Let's also add some padding. So let's type padding and let's set it to eight pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right. And let's also set the font size to 15 pixels. And we'll also set the font family. So let's type font family, Roboto sans serif and let's set the font weight to bold and we'll set the color of the text to white 
Now if you go back to the original design here, we can see that we have this linear gradient where we have the black color at the bottom and it fades into a transparent color. So for that, let's go back and let's tap background and let's set it to linear gradient and let's set the values to transparent and uh, black or let's type dark gray and uh, let's set the percentage to 130% for this and uh, let's go back and now we can see it looks all right right now the last thing we need to do in this video is style this uh, next and previous buttons so let's go back and uh, for that we have this uh, division with the class of previous btn and uh, another division with the class of next btn so we have already selected that over here so let's start styling this over here the first thing we need to do is we need to position these two buttons relative to the container division which is uh, this uh, stories container division so here for the stories container division let's start position and let's set it to relative and now here for these buttons let's type position and let's set it to absolute and uh, we need to position the previous button to the left and the next button to the right so here let's type stories container previous btn and let's set the left position to 8 pixels and uh, let's type stories container next btn and let's set the right position to 8 pixels now here we can see that the next button is on the right side but the previous button is not being displayed that's because it is behind this image so if you right click over here and go to inspect and if we hover over this previous button we can see that it is behind the image so we need to add a z index so here for both these buttons let's tap z index and i'll just set it to 2 now we can see that the button is being displayed now we need to bring this button to the center vertically so let's tap top and uh, let's set it to 50 percent let's also add a background color so that we can see it clearly so let's tap background and let's set the color to 444 and let's set the color of the icon to white and let's also add rounded corners so i'll just tap border radius and i'll just set it to 50 percent and let's also add a padding so i'll just tap padding and i'll just set it to let's try 10 pixels and now we can see that the circle is not perfect so for that you have to type display of flex and now we can see we have a perfect circle now the icon is not exactly in the center it starts from the center so for that you have to type transform translate y and set it to negative 50 percent and now it is exactly in the center and let's also set the cursor to pointer so just tap cursor pointer now when we hover over this we have the pointer and i think that's basically it with the design let's go back to the original design and i think we have a different background color over here so let's right click over here and go to inspect and let's copy the background color so i'll just copy this from here and let's go back and here for the body let's change this to the copied color and let's go back to our design and this is how it looks so with that we have completed designing this stories container now in the next video we will see how to design this full screen view for this story so we will design this in the next video All right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day